Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to give you a uh, short explanation on uh, how can you uh, how to add a third part, uh, party library to your uh, project uh, here the third party library is uh, boost and um, the boost itself is not much important to us the thing that is important is to learn uh, how to add a third party library to your to our project um, this is actually the second time that I'm recording this uh, video the problem was that for the first time uh, my microphone didn't work so my voice uh, voice didn't record that um, get recorded and uh, so you will come here to this address and then you will go to the last version of uh, Visual Studio, which is 1.72. Please, all of you use this version. Um, you will click here and then you need to install the correct version of that um, uh, based on the version that you have in your uh, Visual Studio. So to find out what is the version of your uh, Visual Studio compiler you come here you go to this path and here you can see that for me it's 1.14.1 1. and uh, so I need to download this version this one because I'm going to um, use the platform 64 and the platform is defined here if you want to use the other one then you have to download the other ones too and uh, so I download that one I downloaded this uh, file um, and uh, I have it here and here I double click on that and I'm I down uh, I installed this one uh, in the EXTS uh, folder that we created before when we were creating our uh, project uh, but the problem for me was that since I put my project in uh, this location no not this one this one uh, since the path is very long um, the operating system gave me uh, an error saying that it cannot find the file the path is not um, cannot be found um, so I checked the error and I found that the problem is that because the path is very long so then I decided to copy the whole solution I mean this one in my drive C uh, which is this one I copied that one to here in my drive C since we defined uh, the path of, uh, we set the path of our libraries and our GUI very well in a relative way and not in absolute way. So I don't have any problem if I copy my uh, uh, or move uh, my um, uh, solution to any other place, they can connect together very well and very good. I will not have any problem because here in the project properties we use this we use the uh, project variables solutions variables we use a uh, relative path so I don't have any problem let me see which one is this one this is the one in C okay this is the one that I copied um, in drive C and something that you may um, uh, need to do if you are you have also that error and you needed to change the location of your project to somewhere that makes the a path of the project uh, shorter then after that you need to first make this one as the sets as uh, make this one as a startup project and uh, uh, because when you open um, your uh, solution for the first time it is not defined which of the um, which one should be the first project the startup project that will be run so you will put it in a uh, this one and um, 
the next thing is that since we copied all the files you need to first clean your solution and rebuild that one or build that one uh, otherwise you may see that when you are opening these files they are um, still pointing at, at the files uh, in the other location I mean in their previous uh, locations so you need to clean and then you need to build that uh, okay after that uh, after copying the files then you can uh, install this one when you double click on that this path you should change this path to this one I did this before so you only need to change this one replace this one with this so the this is the path of uh, my exts folder and I put uh, this one should stay remain otherwise all you will see all of the folders and files of boost library in your ext so it's better to have this one and then you press next and everything will be done correctly for you so after that after installing that one you will see something like this boost is the folder that you have your uh, header file boost header files inside that and this one is the folder that you have your uh, live lib files inside that so now we need to add these two to our projects you see here i'm using um, a header file from boost library and if i open this one open documents and this two tips shows that i'm using this header file from this path which is c which is not uh, the version that we just download and installed this is somewhere else because i also had another um, boost library but i'm going to change this one you don't have this what you have is this what you have is you only have this line you don't have this let's delete this one to see what will happen and you also don't have this one this one is not for this moment for this example is not important you see if i delete that one then this file cannot be found i have this error because the compiler and also the id visual studio they use those paths that you define in your uh, vc++ directory uh, to find the header files that you are including in your project so since that path is not included to the project properties of the store gui i cannot see this uh, header file it cannot be found so now I need to change this one to the correct path. So what I need to do, you see previously when we wanted to add the header files of our library, we use this relative path. Now we need to do this exactly the same as this one because project directory is the path of our project and we need to add this one why don't i uh, add this path why don't you i write boost here because if i write boost here then i don't need to write uh, when i want to include for example thread.h i don't need to write boost uh, slash uh, thread.h or dot hpp uh, but this is not good like uh, what i was saying about uh, namespaces here again the folder should stay remains it's better to have that folder uh, because now let's make it 
here is scanning the include for additional files and now it's fixed okay but uh, with this one i know that this one is coming from boost library with Qt, we don't have this problem because all of them has this name before that, Q or Qt. We know that they are coming from there. Uh, we could do this also for our library, but since we, from our library, we only use interfaces, we don't, or the, the data types. So it was not necessary, at least for this moment, to have another folder. Uh, the next thing that I should change in the project properties is this one and again I need to change this path I need to replace this path with this okay let's do it This one is more clear. So you see, this is the lib path again, a project directory, exts, and this one, and this one. For both of the versions that we had, the name of these two are similar, so I don't need to change anything. I only need to add this path before that. Again, I'm using relative path. Okay. So now everything is fine and it works well uh, and I can even run the code to see if um, my thread is working well because with this one you can only be sure that uh, from the IDE you can only be sure that okay this header file can be found uh, with the compiler but about your libs you need to build your project if you didn't uh, uh, if you don't, uh, um, if the library files cannot be found, then you will have link errors. When you see a link error, it means that the linker cannot link your libraries to your project. The header files can be found, but the libraries cannot be found. I mean, the .lib files cannot be found, or the .dll uh, files. Okay, to find out, I run my code. I don't have any build error, but I also need to check this one. Here, I'm, I'm creating a thread. You can go to the, uh, that one, um, um, the last lessons that we had to find out uh, how we use threads. And uh, that was the this uh, command uses this button uses a thread to load the files and you see that it's working well so the thread is also working there so it means that I set the project properties correctly uh, something um, that I forgot to say is that we used uh, the binary version, the exe files of Boost Library, but you can uh, go to the lectures that we had and to know that why we didn't build, we didn't build uh, our, um, the source code of Boost Library, which is the best way actually, but for us it was not uh, necessary to do that. Uh, I hope everything now is clear. Uh, please consider that you are not supposed to just memorize what you are doing. You should understand what you are doing. And in your exam, I will ask this question. I may even ask you to create another project or even ask you, okay, delete this folder, add this folder, and then now add and include a directory. Or if I want to have this one without boost, I only want to include uh, right here include thread.hpp and I still want to see this file what should be changed inside this so the question for this one I just said that is that you need to add boost word also uh, here here at the end of this one you need to also write boost then you can write here thread.hpp 
and the question would the next question would be that okay which one is the best and you should say why so you this shows me that you understand what are you doing um, it's easy, uh, for me it would be very easy to just ask you to write your project but it's very important for me because I wish someone was like this and <laughs> said these two things to me too. Uh, so the, this way of um, doing your project and um, this exam will force you to understand to be a really a uh, programmer than just a person who will use the language. Uh, good luck everybody and uh, have a nice day. Uh, something uh, that I forgot to say is that you, when you install, uh, yeah, when you install this uh, library, you can check here the size of this library is two point five. When you are sending your project, when you to me. Um, don't send this folder to me because I already have that and I will copy that one inside here to be able to run your code. Um, you only need to send this one and also you don't need to send this one to me. Uh, just these two and not even this one. And delete this one before sending that to me. Um, you can copy it somewhere else, delete that one and make it a zip file and then uh, send it to me. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I think. Um, for sending to a professor or an interviewer, um, what you will do is that you only will uh, send the .h file that you use in your um, project probably they also need some other header files and also the libs that you only uh, use in your project but uh, to me you don't need to um, check for all the header files and lib files that you are um, that you use you don't just easily don't send this but you should use this one and you should set the project properties like this otherwise I need to do that for you Okay, good luck everybody and have a nice day.